Greg Abbott teased a major announcement for the future of Texas and space exploration. And today, the governor and other state leaders came to Houston to officially launch a new commission. The goal, keep the Texas space economy growing and make sure colleges and universities keep providing a pipeline of employees. Jason Miles, live outside Johnson Space Center with more on that. Hey, Jason. Hey there, guys. Yeah, Governor Abbott and an astronaut currently in space actually spoke on the phone today. That was pretty cool. But the big announcement here had to do with what you mentioned and just in general ensuring Texas's place when it comes to space. Inside Johnson Space Center's Mission Control. We have a, a native Texan from the Houston area uh, that I'm talking to. Governor Greg Abbott spoke to astronaut Laurel O'Hara, who's on board the International Space Station. Abbott and others selected JSC to announce members of the new Texas Space Commission and Texas Aerospace Research and Space Economy Consortium, both of which will work to ensure the Lone Star State's future remains bright. The commission's goal is to expand upon Texas's proven leadership in civil, commercial, and military aerospace activity. The legislature helped revive the commission during the last session with hopes of also making sure higher education meets the need in science, technology, engineering, and math. 1,800 aerospace companies are based in the state of Texas now. 1,800. One of them is Shea Sabrepour's Cincium Astro. He was appointed by Speaker Dade Phelan to sit on the consortium. Uh, be able to develop the talent, be able to develop uh, the roadmap, uh, what we should invest in, uh, how we should grow to continue uh, and uh, maintain Texas and our country as a whole a leader in, in space. A place where officials believe vast opportunities abound.